Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick demo on how to put together some lava tightrope cables. Uh, been fighting a cold and the flu, so I apologize. Probably a lot of sniffling and, and coughing going on, but anyways, we'll give it our best shot. But uh, what you're going to get with the kit is 10 foot of cable, uh, 10 of these, these plugs, and this little cutting tool. Um, you'll also get this, this card here, and it's kind of important because it, uh, it actually gives you uh, a full sized. Uh, demo of, of what you're going for and these 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 links are pretty important so there's there's a couple of shields here or different uh, uh, coverings that we need to cl uh, clip back so um, the amount of cable we leave exposed is pretty important so uh, you know in addition to that I'm going to use these these cutters here and I actually prefer using just a normal utility knife uh, over this tool it just feels like I've, I've got a little more control over what's going on so uh, anyways, what I like to do is when I get the cable, the very first thing I do is I, I build uh, one cable out of the entire 10 foot length. And that way I can test the entire cable out of the box end to end and I know that the whole thing's good. Now this isn't 10 foot, I've built a couple cables, but uh, I still like to uh, keep ends on the, the part of the cable that's left. So uh, we're going to use this, we're going to build uh, a cable. I've already measured out what I needed, I just got to find my mark here. So I'm going to cut uh, right there. That is the cable I need. Okay, that can go off to the side. And this is what we have to build. So, what we need, according to this, I need a total distance of about six millimeters. And I can hold it here. And then, using this as a, as a guide, I can tell that I want to start my cut right about there. Uh, this is really easy material to cut, so I'm really just going to run it along, putting just a, a minimum amount of pressure on that. I can start to see the score. The idea is here i got to get through this outer covering, but I don't want to cut the, the copper braid insulation on the inside. So that's a pretty good job. Uh, no, no, no copper there. And it's all here. All right. So now we've got the the copper braid exposed. We're going to take that. We're going to bend it out of the way, and we're going to twist it together. And get this stuff twisted, nice and tight. Got just a little straight piece there. We'll tear that off. Okay, next thing I have to do is I've got to take this black uh, shield off and I want to leave, there's a white uh, shield underneath, so I want to take the black off and leave the white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run the knife just along the edge, not, not straight in, but just as an ed, at an edge, kind of like filling a fish. Just get that, that, the tip of that poked in there, kind of run it along, make a score, and then using that score mark I should be able to use my thumbnail to find that I can do this all day long without a camera and not have a problem but of course where'd that score go you know what if you can't find it just make another one again I'm cutting the black and not cutting into the white There we go. Take that, peels right off. So, again, keep this twisted nice and tight. What I like to do at this point is check my work. So, what we've got is looks like I've got just a little extra cable uh, peeled back. So, what I'm going to do, just trim this just a hair. That looks pretty good. Now, according to the card, so what I should have here is six millimeters of cable, two millimeters of it is the white covering, and four millimeters is the uh, inner copper shield. So I want to go about a third of the way here. And again, this is really easy to cut. I'm just going to, very little pressure, just score this. 
turn it around and I should be able to pull that right off excellent okay keep this nice and tight take one of these caps this is the one part I struggled with I started with the soldered cables and with the soldered when you put the tip on uh, there was a pin that would actually puncture the uh, the, the uh, conductor and it made a definite pop that's not the case here kind of just slide it on you will feel it hit some resistance just give it like a half twist and that thing is locked I am tugging on that and that thing is not going anywhere so now the cool thing is uh, I can take this to my board plug in this end and then run this to where I can get I can get any angle I want you know whether it be the same opposite 90 degrees whatever so uh, for demonstration sake I'm just gonna I'm gonna bend it that way take this cap cap slides on and I'm holding the cap and all I'm doing is twisting this post And there we have our lava tightrope cable. Last thing left to do, put this guy on the tester. And with this particular tester, that's good. That's good. That's good. We now have a tightrope. Hey everyone, just wanted to finish this demo. We're going to take the, the cable that I just built and we're going to actually install it. Uh, the one thing I really, really like about these tight ropes is A, how, how thin they are. Um, and then also just, I, I think the most important part is how uh, flexible and pliable are, they are. They have some, some uh, uh, rigidness to them, but uh, the cable will go anywhere you want it to. So what I got to do is run the cable from my EP booster here, kind of sneak it around. And I actually prefer... Uh, these cables because they're so thin to lay on top of the board uh, you know I, it's just a look I prefer so it, it's a personal thing I can definitely route this underneath but uh, anyways we're we just get installed there again this cable is is just incredibly you know it's flexible but yet it's it's got some uh, you know some meat to it so uh, this goes into the looper the looper isn't velcro down yet I'll get my stuff run to it and I'll take care of the velcro and uh, you know, that's it. Uh, cable installed. That thing went in like a piece of uh, uh, cake. <laughs>